Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Daymare 1998. When we last left off, we were stuck in the tunnels. And yes. Yes, I remember where we are. Uh, and I absolutely have not been um, necking large quantities of cider. How dare you? How very dare you insinuate that. Um, now, interesting. Right, so we are actually under... Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did come down here. Okay. This puzzle actually is quite cool. I like this puzzle. So I'm pretty sure this is a puzzle that we have seen previous. Um, I, I want to say Resident Evil 4, but that was more the slidey puzzle thing, which... Yeah, that thing's kind of annoying. This, have we got any like dialogues or anything to read here? Picked up an energy drink, which is nice. We're gonna keep hold of that. Right, so, all of the tanks are not working, which is unfortunate. Ooh, interesting. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I got that chip before. All right, so we need to get these water tanks back online. We can do that. What's our inventory looking like? Uh, put a few more rounds in the old weapon there. Cool. All right, we're actually quite a lot further through um, this underground section than I thought we were, which is good because this is my least favorite part of the game. Um, at least I thought it was. I'm actually not having a bad time with it. Didn't really enjoy it first time round, but I, it seemed to go on a lot more than it has this time. Uh, right, so we need to connect the dots, basically. Uh, we have to do this three times. And I'm, I think there's only like one solution per puzzle, which, which is fine. Uh, so where are we? Right, well that's not looking so hot, is it? Let's try that. Hmm. So, yeah, yeah, so the terminals that are actually attached to the actual main circuits, you can't switch those around. Bioshock, that's the game I was thinking of. Bioshock had these puzzles. This was how you did the hacking. Yes, I remember things about stuff sometimes. Um, there we go. So that's the first one done. Now I think um, they get more complicated every time. And when I say more complicated, it just makes the board bigger. Uh, and there's more missing components as well. So yeah, that's not going to fly. That's not going to fly at all. So that has to join onto that. So perhaps down here. Yeah, this one's going to be a real... Ooh. I guess up then. That's looking promising. That'll do. There we go. Yeah, they're not actually too bad. They kind of uh, seem a little bit complex, but, you know. Uh, I do... <laughs> I do like the way that this is how we're, like, rewiring to repair these tanks. This seems, you know... <laughs> Pretty easy. This is the one that's a little bit more complicated than the others. Yep. Uh, all right, that's fine. Yeah, th I think this is the one that took me a little bit of fiddling. So, now that has to, yeah, cause you can't change that one, so. That has to go there. Um, I mean, potentially you could go up, but there's nowhere to go. So that has to be right. However, here... Now, these uh, blank pieces, you can't actually do anything at all with those. You can't put wires on them or anything. They are just, yeah, what they are. So there. All right, that'll do. Can we switch you around? We can. Uh, so this one, I, 
don't think this is going to... No. This... Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. Alright, that was a little bit less complicated than I thought. Now, remember that area, which I thought was actually really far back. Uh, which it isn't actually that far back. We can go down there. Now, it's kind of like an optional area to explore. There's some goodies down there. There's also like a save room and uh, it, from what I can remember, it's kind of worth going back. I just don't like these tight corridors here. Especially with how this game likes to spawn new enemies. Ooh. Thank you very much. Ah. Did we not do this? Okay. Right. A little bit rusty on this. Oof. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright. Just call me Neo. What do we get? Uh, oh, 750 AE ammo. Again, um, I've mentioned this in like previous videos. It sounds like a cool little bonus getting the Action Express like uh, Magnum ammo, but when you really, really, really need it, you get like an unlimited supply of it. So, yeah, yeah, it's mm, it's a bit odd. But anyway, whatever, we've got it now. Now, important, important. Make sure ah uh, that you take the battery. Uh, however, our inventory is full. Um. Ah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Now, luckily, where we're going, we're going to go back to a item box. Didn't think I forgot about you, did you, Sunny Jim? That's right. From what I can remember, this guy, he's actually horrendously durable. Yeah, he's down. Very, very durable. Okay. Uh, hello. Zombies. Oh. Was that him or was that this douchebag getting up again? Right, he's definitely down. Yeah, I think it was him. Interesting. So the sound for that zomb the, that zombie made actually came behind me, which was really curious. So that's where we need to go. How? Oh, I don't know if we need the battery. Um, we'll hold on to it for now. Because we need to go this way, man. Now, they do kind of throw a few more enemies at you because we've made progress. It's not like a lot of enemies, it's just like a couple. So, I actually thought that we had to go really, really far back to get to that uh, little area that's opened up. But actually, it's not really that far back. In fact, I believe. Yeah, it's down there. So it's really not that far back. Um, I actually forgot where that was the first time I played this. And so I went all the way back. I went way past this little area. Uh, there's a couple of uh, like Brucey bonuses in here. Nothing like massively uh, interesting. A uh, couple of items, but the big important thing that we're going to get, of course, is, oh, there we go, I don't think we can open that one, no, is the uh, item machine, it's jammed, it's jammed, he says, that ain't no good, whoop, whoop, yeah, these hacking, like, things, even semi-inebriated, are ridiculously easy, man. 
Right, we are actually out of inventory space, so we're probably going to have to come back. Although, apparently we can pick up the hollow points, which is quite nice. Now, there's all this equipment in here. There's no puzzle in here or anything like that. Uh, inventory is full. Can we drop anything? Do we have air? Ooh, what's our health like? Eh, it's not really worth eating anything here. Um... Yeah, so you can see like that ammo issue. You just end up getting so, so much ammo. It's kind of ridiculous. And here we go. Now, what's bizarre about this bit as well is um, for this underground area, there's exactly two of these machines, right? Um, but they're like next to each other. <laughs> One of them's like a secret hidden thing. It, yeah, it's... It's uh, it's very odd. Anyway, what do we have here? Could it possibly be that after all these years, there are still people who can't be bought? Evidently, yes. As long as these idiot heroes from Washington keep barging in and disrupting our work. Now, an upstanding citizen from the National Department of Water Safety has the audacity to stick his big fat nose into our business is beyond me. Lately, too many of these dick, <laughs> dickless desk jockeys have been snooping about and putting our operation at risk. But I don't have a huge problem with that, personally. What happens in the sewers stays in the sewers, right? As usual, I handled it myself. After our esteemed guest finished his little report, I made sure it was the last one he ever wrote. His next inspection will be from the inside of an oil drum at the bottom of a drain. While well, me and my men make some careful amendments to his findings and fax it to the hospital and responsible authorities. So, that's one less headache to worry about. Even if management doesn't understand that this remedy is... That this remedy is no remedy at all, sooner or later a headache will arrive, arise that can't be fixed with an oil drum. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> be careful or you'll be in an oil drum. <laughs> Bishop L. What's that? Helriskin, supervisor of Keensight's water system. Below is the unamended report that is to be filed as classified and shall never be released to the public. Analysis of... Yeah, ah, right, okay. So this is the actual report. Analysis of water intended for human consumption. Reference number, blah, blah, blah. Client, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Following is the specified analysis of various water samples gathered from the town of Keensight and tested with equipment on the spot. I can attest the fact that harmful elements of an unknown nature and tampering of the filtration system of the main pumping house has been found. I therefore authorise the immediate closure of the treatment plant pending further inspection by qualified team from the National Department of Water Safety. I also authorise that the population be prohibited from consuming the drinking water of Keensight until further notice can be carried out. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> As is procedure, I will send a copy of this report to the head office of the National Department of Water Safety with the recommendation that immediate and decisive action be taken. Furthermore, I will al uh, alert the laboratory at Keensight Hospital and municipal technicians of the danger it poses to the public safety. E. Edward. Now, we got a secret hidden um, file earlier that was actually his genuine report, if I remember correctly. Right, we can dump that for now. We can dump that for now. Uh, we can dump a whole pack of enhanced handgun ammo. My god, we've got a lot of handgun ammo. We'll dump that extra pack of handgun ammo. Um, we'll hold on to that. We don't need that. Alright, that gives us a little bit more breathing room. And we do have another thingy do what's it to read. We got another chip, didn't we? So, let's go back a minute. And grab those uh, Mentats, or whatever they're called. They're basically Mentats from Fallout. Mental Drops. I could use some Mental Drops. Make me smart, yo. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's go drop these mental drops back. I think that's all that's here, anyway. Uh, right. Boop. 
We'll keep the patch cable on us. Uh, I guess I guess we might as well keep one health item on us. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. No, we don't want to exit. So again, we've got the trading thing. There's no point to the trading thing. And that's the new one. Enough is enough. I can't go on like this anymore. They're kids, just kids. Whether or not they're mine, it doesn't matter. I can't rely on the fact that my little guy won't be subjected to the same ungodly treatment just because I'm part of the company. Or the children of my friends and the town are spending the rest of their lives between clinics and hospitals, if not worse. I don't trust anyone and I can't go for help. But what I can do is slow the devilish scheme by tearing the company apart from the inside out. I feel bad about putting my colleagues at risk, especially since most are just worker bees unaware of what's really going on. Deep underground. But it can't be helped. I thought tampering with Joint 19 would buy them a few months, but the company's already got a team pushed to their limit, slaving day in, day out. Inhuman conditions and the flooded areas are almost operational again. At this point, no matter how risky it is to pull off a broad daylight, uh, pull off in broad daylight, the next logical step is to damage the drainage system by disconnecting the circuit boards in the hopes that it will buy me enough time to diverse a more permanent solution. I know it's dangerous, but risking my life to save so many children is a danger I'm willing to risk. Yeah, well, and apparently. We haven't actually been exchanging those. Did we not read all of this? I'm sure we did. I can't remember because yeah, I started playing this like a, little, <laughs> uh, a while ago. So I'm gonna just scroll through these just in case I haven't read these out. So you can have a gander at them if you so wish. I don't want to risk reading them out because I'm I'm certain I've already read those out. However, the fact that I haven't claimed them is a little bit odd. Anyway, we got some uh, mixy stuff. So what we'll do with the mixy stuff, let's swap over to this. Um, should be able to mix up a mega heal. Now, as I said prior, um, you really don't want to be mixing two heals together because it's so, so so inefficient it just doesn't make any sense to do so because as I said um, you know if you mix two hills together they don't actually become god damn it they don't actually become more potent they just um, uh, I guess we could mix these up there's no reason not to I suppose and uh, yeah also this inventory computer thingy item box does run out of space I don't know why it runs out of space because um, I wasn't mixing all of these components before uh, and <laughs> it got difficult uh, we'll be okay about a healing item I think we'll find another one so uh, uh, we saved it as well yeah so mixing two healing items is just really really inefficient because it still heals the same amount of health it just uh, heals it instantly instead of over time uh, but the fact that it heals over time, that's literally, literally never a problem. Maybe it is on the hardest difficulty, I don't know. I have no interest in playing on the hardest difficulty. But, yeah, don't know. Bit of a, bit of a weird one, if you ask me. But anyway, whatever. Hey. You'll be careful, Raven. You don't end up in one of them, uh, one of them oil drums now, do you? Which apparently a lot of people that have uh, faced off against the company have ended up inside. Aha! Wow, that's really not that far from where we need to be, is it? I haven't been dumb, have I? I put the battery back, didn't I? Oh. What do we need the battery for? Do we need the battery? Yes, we do. One second, guys. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, I did not put it back in the thingy what's it do, Uh I just straight up forgot to take the battery because uh, we didn't have any space. 
So, <laughs> got back to the item box, and I'm like, hmm, fiddly D, where has the battery gone? Uh-oh. Nope, we had it the whole time. Now, if this is the bit that I think it is, and I'm pretty sure it might be, uh, we have, yeah, Gribbly. Yeah, looks like it's been an exceptionally safe and accident-free environment. It has, Raven. Until today. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe this happened today, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a weird one. So, Experiment Archive. An archive of several programs that test different types of BC weapons made by Hexacore by genetics on Keensight population. Most of the pages are wet and difficult to read. Year 1952. Overview. Part of the Truman Project. Experiments were conducted during the later stages of pregnancy in the maternity ward of Sacred Heart Hospital through the controlled infection of a biological nerve agent. The experiment did not lead to any progress with the selected subjects, but children of these non-consenting guinea pigs... It just incriminate yourself as much as possible. Uh, unexpectedly fostered a new study called Daymare Syndrome. So obviously Sam is, you know, Sam's mum was obviously experimented on. Status closed. <clears throat> Notes. Began new experiments on subjects affected by Daymare syndrome. Year 1953. Overview. A joint experiment between the US Army, Navy and CIA in which tens of thousands of individuals were exposed to uh, anaerob... anaerob... anaerobotic... Oh. Yeah. Bacteria spread via the air on keen site testing grounds. A similar experiment was carried out using a, ver uh, a variation of the contamination via drinking water. Status in progress. Notes. Infected subjects are placed under close guard. Overview. The same year the CIA officially launched MKUltra, a program of experiments aimed at to test new drugs and biological agents for the purpose of mind control and behavioral engineering. The agents and techniques that were used are illegal and tested on non-consenting humans. Oh. My. Guinea pigs. Uh, status closed. Notes. New experiments started later on. Year 1960. Overview. Activation of the classified Project Shad. Navy jets took flight from a remote Pacific atoll, sprayed a 100 mile long aerosol cloud over five tugboats. Within just a few days, the affected men became seriously ill and showed signs of epidermal deterioration as well as damage to the respiratory tract. Status in, project, in progress. Note, some of the remaining test subjects have been transferred to the Hexacore facility in Keensight for further analysis. Year 1970. Overview. After research was carried out at Hexacore Laboratories in Keensight and Fort uh, Daytrick, the CIA and DOD officially announced MK no uh, Naomi as successor to the MK Ultra project. It is established with express purpose of monitoring and testing BC weapons on a human population status in progress. Notes to be merged with the Truman project. The rest of this document has been destroyed by water. Yeah. Pretty, pretty bad stuff going on here, but that's fine. Oh, hello. Almost missed that sly little puppy. So, let's get out of here. Now, in here, my pedigree chums, we're going to fight or find a new beastie. This guy. Yeah, he's not that dangerous, to be honest. Um, it's just more of an annoyance than anything, so we've got to just run away from him. He does become, not a standard enemy, but an enemy that we fight a little bit more often. But you can't actually fight, well, you can fight him here. The only trouble is, yeah, get out of here, he hit me. Son of a bitch. Uh, you can fight him here, but the trouble is, uh, he just respawns. Which is fine. Well, this is really awkward. Yeah, so every time he does that weird scream thing, he disappears. 
But because of this area, he disappears and like shows back up again. Which is a little bit naughty. I suppose he's supposed to be kind of like a stalker-esque enemy. But there's nothing really to worry about. I forget what they're actually called, those guys. Yeah, alright dude. Ow. Thank you sir. May I have another? We're actually quite injured now. Doing a bit of a bad job at escaping from this guy. Now, as soon as we get to this staircase and the music stops, from what I can remember, he's now gone now. Like, we don't have to worry about him again. At least not yet. But next time we encounter him, uh, we can kill him. It's fine. And we will be killing a few of them. But uh, that actually concludes this part of the game. So they, these uh, sewer tunnels actually aren't that bad. After escaping from the darkness of the underground water system, Raven emerges on the outskirts of town. From here, his journey to the crash site should be much easier, even if it means finding the Major's lifeless body amongst the wreckage. Or if he somehow survives the horror. The truth is not far out there. So, we're finally out of the sewers. And I, for one, am rather happy about that. We are very injured, though. That was bad. He actually got a good couple of swipes in on us. Uh, which is not great. So, in those tunnels, there's two packs of ammo to grab, which we did grab. And there's also um, a bobblehead. But I got the bobblehead first time round, So, we can't get that again. We did blast off six shotgun shells on the guy, but yeah, that's fine. I locate the crash site. Alright. And look, we have zombies again. We like zombies. We know where we are with zombies. Let's start clearing them out, shall we? Definitely want to be a little bit careful now, because I believe... How much health do we even have? We've 35 health, actually. It's not too bad. It certainly could be worse. Make sure none of these Zeds get back up again, because that would be truly awkward. Alright. So we can head down here. I think there's like two ways to go here. He's alright. He's having a nap. That's fine. Hello. Uh, we don't need a box of ammo lying around, sir. We have loads of ammo in our inventory. And it appears my cat has turned up and you're knocking my tablet over. Yeah, Leopold, come on. Bloody cat. Right, what we've got going on down here? It looks like something serious happened. There is new power. Find a way to restore power. Well, okay. We will certainly endeavour to do just that. Oh, hello. That's questionably bad, actually. Right, as long as we can stay clear of this guy. I think if he hits us, we're toast. That's fine. That could have been relatively ugly. Now that chip that we've just picked up there, I don't know if I picked that up first time around. 
But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Got a standard zombie over there by the look of things. More bullets. Looks like the army had some kind of, like, last heroic stand here. Doesn't look like it exactly went in their favour. Come on, Mr. Melty. This guy's obviously been set on fire. Uh, he's done. Double tap. So we've got a file there. Oof. One of those big guys there. Oh! Is that one of the... Yeah, that's one of the guys that were chasing us in the uh, underground. It's good to know. Alright, well, let's load up. Nice to actually use up some of this ammo, to be honest with you. Um, mm, you know what? Let's... Oh, we can't unload. Well, you can unload. I just... I don't know. It just doesn't always seem to work. You definitely can unload your gun. Unless you can only unload your gun if you don't have a magazine with you. You can't unload the shotgun either, which is kind of questionable. But whatever. It's fine. Anyway, you want to come over here because... Ooh. Because... There is a, a magazine for the Magnum there. Which is kind of... It's not important, per se. But it's useful. Report, that's what they're called. These guys are called the Caster Hades. Some of its pages are missing, and it seems like the combination of CSRO3 caster gas and the H additive. This last uh, present in large quantities in the Hades operative causes a new type of gene mutation that's completed in 10 to 20 hours after zero hour. We call them Caster Hades. During the transformation, the subject slips into a comatose state due to the immune system's heightened response due to the H additive. After a period, the subject awakens, transformed into a sort of impossibly fast, highly resourceful, deadly creature that... Yeah, that can kind of, sort of, I teleport-ish, but not really. I don't know. A bit weird. They're basically... Um, like super enemies. I'm trying to think of something that's similar to them in Resident Evil. I guess hunters maybe, but not really. Because when we fought them down uh, a minute ago in the sewer, well we fought that one, they kind of teleport around. Obviously we're going to fight them again, but they're not, <laughs> they don't do that, so I don't know man. I'm sure it's a rich tapestry. Evening. Alright, don't get your gun out, either or. Come on, sir. Take your medicine. Yes! <laughs> Where the fuck did he go? Did he go to the moon? <laughs> I think he went to the moon. That's fine. It's always um, when they're on kind of like a slope, whether they're on stairs or something like that. You, that's when you get like the best effect from these guys. Funny as fuck, really. Come on, you. Really? Well, they don't make them like they used to, that's for sure. Ooh, popped him in the back of the dome. Don't know where... Th oh, is that the guy that was there? Yeah, maybe. It's fine. Oh, dear. Looks like Hunk's had a bad day. I'm sure he's going to be fine flask of coffee there. I wonder if that coffee's still warm. Not sure. Now, 
in here. This here, this is the last secret door of the game. Not really sure why it's so interestingly spread out like this, but yeah, that's the last secret door of the game. Uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of useful here. Um, what have we got on us? We've got some additives. We can, I guess we could take the AE magazine. I can't actually remember where we get the AE. Um, or the Desert Eagle. Not 100% sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, let's... I guess we're gonna, yeah, I suppose. Oh, actually. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I know where we get the, uh, where we get that. Um, let's drop that. We'll keep those enhanced bullets on us. Like, actually, I tell you what, we'll drop the full pack of enhanced ammo. And we'll pick up the 19 pack. Um, how many shotgun shells can you hold in one stack? Is it just 24? No, it's 30. Right. So you can carry 30 of anything in one slot. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. Let's drop the enhanced shotgun shells back. Do we want to take the Action Express? Um, no, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We're gonna grab that. Might grab another health. Actually, let's take that. Um, we will drop these two back. We can also drop, oh, these are both coded. Right, I have a thing for this. I'll tell you what we're gonna do, actually. Let's save the game, because we're on 37 minutes. Let's save the game and we're going to end this video here. When we come back, we shall read uh, these two. And then we shall continue and formulate a battle plan for the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.